Well, uh, thanks everyone for joining. Um, always a great turnout as always. Um, as a reminder, uh, these meetings are recorded. Um, we uh, we don't we uh, post them on YouTube for people who uh, couldn't make the meeting. Um, so if that's a concern, uh, let me know after the fact, and we'll try to figure out something. Um, agenda, our, kind of our standard agenda, uh, introductions, uh, board farm status from everyone, uh, funding OpenWRT projects, uh, regulatory update, and uh, OpenWRT summit. Um, I think everyone here has been to these meetings before, so I don't think we need to do any introductions. Uh, board farm status, I can uh, comment on um, the stuff that I've been able to work on the last, last week. Um, first of all, I uh, have the uh, the AP135 board uh, running. Um, I got that done yesterday. Um, so we're running tests on that, and they all passed, uh, which is good. Um, also, uh, Zoltan has been very helpful and has uh, set up a um, logging for the, our IRC channel. Um, it's not very active, but it's good to have logging so we can actually, uh, for those of us when we leave and, and can't be at the, um, or didn't see a message, we can we can comment back on that. Um, not a lot else for me. Those are the big things. Um, anyone else have any, any updates on board farm? Can I ask if you ever got uh, a hold of Matt, or is he just uh, gone now? I've gotten a hold of him. Yeah, I, right. I haven't got a chance to ask him about the about the um, the elastic cabana thing. Mm. Um, I the main thing is he needed a access to a board, uh, which he could do testing on um, for oh, testing okay. uh, pull requests. So that was one of the reasons I I uh, got going on getting this board up so you would have something to work with um now that i've done that and uh, then I'm, i'll probably ask him about the the elk and getting that getting that ready so yeah cool. matt seems very interested i just i have I've, I've got to find the time to actually get it done so that's what i was making the time this week for um Anything else with board farm? I mean, I, I I think we're probably at a state where we're probably going to want to add more boards pretty soon. I only have one more board that is a model that I haven't that we don't have added yet. Um, it's gotten to the point where I can realistically add a add a model um, in probably about I don't know maybe a day of work less than depends on the on how well the bill goes and things like that. But um, so I think we're ready to expand. I don't know what we want to do as like a policy and how we add boards or, you know, what do people think? Well, you can always accept boards from anyone. And then uh, if there are too many to host in the current infrastructure, you just get some sort of a vote on popularity of what people want. Sure, we can do it that way. Should we? But, should and we, then, yeah. I assume there's going to be a, the members would prefer that we prioritize their boards, but I don't, I don't know how people feel about that. Yeah, I mean, if they have boards, the members have boards they want in there. We should try to get them in there. Yeah, I agree. All right. I mean, how do how do we want to go go forward on actually getting these boards? Do, um, do we? know anyone in particular who wants to get their boards in there right now um I, I might i might try to get a board or two to send to you awesome that'd One be great our little linux open number t boards can try that'd be great okay awesome and then do you have any of the qualcomm uh, ipq boards i'm not sure I don't think I do. I don't but think I, you do. I, I, don't I might remember. try to get you some of those too. That that would be helpful. Okay. Definitely. All right. Well, um, 
I will also probably, I'll probably email Hauke and ask about the, the, well, actually, well, Shalash, you're probably a good person too for that, um, asking about the Lantique slash Intel boards. Um, do, you, do you think we can get, we could get some, um, you know, uh, Intel slash Lantique boards that we could, uh, that run upstream OpenWRT? to test um yeah we have boards uh, uh, if we if a requirement is to run native open wrt uh, i think our legacy boards would be uh, suited for that if it is uh, uh, i mean adopted or customized open wrt which we use in our sdk then we can also give our latest board so uh, uh, if I understood right, uh, you want to uh, have this uh, native open source WRT running on this these boards, right? Yeah, but preferably. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah. That's that would make sense. Yeah. Okay, so then I think we can give uh, the legacy board which uh, which uh, which can run the open WRT native open WRT with their drivers. Yeah, the new boards are not yet upstream to open WRT. Okay. Well, it, you know, anything you can, if they do get upstream, then certainly we would like to add those as well. So um, I'll follow up with you after this meeting and we can kind of work out how to, how we want to do that and get, get the boards. Right. Yeah. Qualcomm also acquired sure. Econos and I don't know if we could uh, get a contact there to get some of their gateway boards. I have to I dig and see if I have any contact. Yeah, I know Econos used to used to be a member of Purple, and then, but I never really had much contact with them. But I can. Well, I can but they're them. they're now owned, but they were yeah. So yeah, they they're not a member anymore. They once they were bought out. So it was I, uh, David Hare was the contact I had. H A R E. Um, he was uh, interested back when I was still there. Okay. That'd be good. All right. Well, I will follow up with you, Kathy, on, on those, and I'll follow up with Shalash. Are there, any other people from any anyone who knows that there are boards that they would like added? Hey, Eric, this is Tim Carey. I'm just trying yeah. to get an understanding. Um, yeah. So why are we using... Why, why, why are we using the board farm and we're just not using the OpenWRT um, you know, boards themselves and, and do it from there if we're using just a generic open WRT. I guess I'm a little bit lost on, oh, on no, how this all works in the process. That's fine. Sure. Uh, board farm. Are you familiar with board farm at all? I just brought it up for the first time. So, okay. So I got, I got a gist of what, what it is. Okay. Yeah. So it, all board farm really does is we can run a te just run tests automated testing on routers and the goal with what um obviously it's all open source so you can run it yourself and we more than welcome that um but the what what purple is looking at doing is trying to actually have a um a our own instance which has which runs tests on a lot of different boards against upstream open wrt um so that it people can somehow verify that they're that it runs open wrt and it runs it and it meets all the requirements um and but this is this generic stuff. open wrt it's not anything added packages that uh purple will bring in right no no it would be it would be upstream i mean the only example of a case where we would add packages um is if it literally there was something that needed to be modified like there was there was one one board that i have that um, it had a switch, the way that the switch was set up, I had to modify it to actually have it run properly, but that was the only example. There, in the future, we, we also, we talked a little bit about the purple stamp, um, which is the idea of, you know, it runs, you would might want to verify that it runs a particular set of features. In those cases, there might be some packages that might need to be added, but that would be very specific and it wouldn't be to the exclusion of testing upstream open WRT, it'd be, you know, in addition to doing that. Um, 
if that makes any sense. Okay. No, yeah. no, that that's fine. So, but you know, because some of the stuff I use, I just use devices, right? You know, so I've yep. got a couple uh, GL devices that we use when we run OpenWRT, mm -hmm. right? But it's, uh, you know, the, I'm not the vendor of it. I don't, you know, I don't uh, manufacture the, the hardware or anything. So I don't know if that's, if I'm the appropriate person to, to tell you what board should be in there, am I? You can be. I, mean, I, don't, I don't think we have a requirement either way. I mean, if you think there are particular boards that, or if you particularly, I mean, obviously it helps if you have access to extras that you're willing to give up, but. Right. Okay. All right. So I, I kind of understand what's going on now. All right. Okay. That's again, I'm trying to figure I'm trying to figure out figure how out. to work in the secret. Makes sense. Thanks. All right. Any other comments or questions? All right. Well, um, we'll have to. We'll, I'll follow up with with those folks, um, and we can we can go from there on Board Farm. But you know, I think things are going well. I I'm not sure if there was a pull request to Board Farm this week, but uh, there may have been. I don't remember offhand. Um, but things seem to be active and going well. So, uh, funding OpenWRT projects. Uh, we finally um, we finally decided to go ahead with our standard consulting agreement for the time being for our projects. In, you know, in the next round, we may have a, a more lightweight one, but it, the, there were legal issues that couldn't be resolved by a more lightweight agreement right now, unfortunately. And so um, I've contacted the three projects that we, we had decided to fund, the, the smaller projects, um, and uh, they're just reviewing the agreements because obviously it's, a, it's, a, it's our standard consulting agreement, so it's kind of a pretty heavy. So obviously they need to understand how it works, um, which is unfortunate, but just kind of how things went. Um, TR69 update. Um, I don't actually have much of an update on that. Um, I contacted Felix and Luca to uh, create a proposal. I, Felix, are you here? Um, yeah, I'm here. Yep. Uh, and okay. this is something uh, where I still have to talk to Luca. I mean, yep. uh, there's a lot of to do items uh, yep. for me on the list, but we still have to figure out like how to work together, uh, yep. how we should set things up. But uh, this is something that we're going to discuss today. Awesome. That's great. Yeah, this is I, I you guys are kind of in a tough situation because, I, you know, it has to be kind of funded in parts because it's, you know, it's not like a project that's going to get done in one, you know, three month project or something it's it's bigger than that so yeah it, it's understanding how to split it up i think it's the difficult part but but thank you awesome great great to hear and i'm glad that 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 it's that you guys are going to talk about that then um so yeah that's that's mainly the update on tier 69 i'd ask uh felix and luca to get do you will you be able to get a, a proposal by the 20th i think i had asked well, uh, first uh, we have to start talking and okay. I, at the moment, like, I mean, for, for me, it's pretty clear what I'm going to do, but, uh, I have no idea what Luca is going to work on. So, okay. I don't know. Okay. We'll see. Well, we'll figure it out. Awesome. And you certainly keep me in the loop. So, sure. um, hopefully, hopefully we'll, we'll get that worked out. Um, so that's the update on uh, the tier 069. I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about related to that. Any questions, comments, concerns? So Eric, the uh, next call is on 23rd August, right? On tier 69? Uh, the 23rd of August. Uh, that isn't actually tr 69. That's the carrier interest group. Um, I assume we may talk about okay. tr 69 there. Um, so, that so when is the when will we have uh, TR69 a specific call? I guess this is the I mean the general topic call, but uh, uh, do we need to have some uh, calls on this? And when is the next call? Can I know? I we haven't scheduled one. I I I think it really is kind of dependent upon the proposal. Um, once that gets started, I think 
and some development happens, I think that's probably um, appropriate. We, I mean, if you want to, if we want to call, we can we can organize one. Um, No, just to know that uh, I mean, after that face to face, which we did uh, in person meeting. So afterwards, I mean, uh, there has not been, uh, I mean, of course, there was one summary call, but afterwards, there has not been any. So I didn't see anything scheduled in calendar. So I believe that Doodle Paul was uh, said, asking one call in in this July end, right in the, the week next. Yeah, we had asked about the carrier interest group, their first meeting, which was probably going to talk about TR69, but certainly would cover other topics. And that was, um, it, we couldn't get the scheduling to work out for this month. So that has to be in August, um, unfortunately. On TR69, we have the, the base camp. I mean, if, if you think we should have a call, I would I'm happy to help organize that, or you can suggest it on the TR69 um, base camp. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you offline uh, okay. after I had. Uh, yeah. Okay, we can talk I about that. Got some inputs. Okay, thanks. Okay, sounds good. Awesome. Yeah, we can certainly have a call, so we'll we'll talk about that. Um. Regulatory update. Um, I don't really think there is one. Art, are you on the call? All right. Um, yeah, I, Art apparently couldn't make it. Um, he, I, I know he had scheduled a meeting with the FCC or he was trying to schedule a meeting. I'm not sure which, um, and I don't believe he's met, but um, that would be the only update because that was kind of next steps. Um, Open WRT Summit, we, uh, um, uh, I am actually working right now on the um, request for proposals right now, um, and uh, I am going to, uh, after I get done this call, clean it up and then send it to the committee. Um, our uh, intern, uh, Shandis Bemanian, is helping with some of the logistical stuff. Um, so, uh, if you may see something from her, she's handling the, getting the press release ready and, um, the logistics of actually trying to schedule events and places to have them in Berlin. Um, so that's, that's what's going on there. Um, but I will have to get that, uh, request for proposals done very soon and I'll write that up based upon the feedback we received and then send it to the committee and get it approved and we'll go from there. Um, Felix, did you get a chance to, to respond to that, that email from, from myself about the um, places to have events in Berlin? I was still trying to find people to talk to, so I haven't made any progress on that. That's why I didn't get back to you yet. Oh, I'm okay. still looking into it to see if I can find something. Okay. Uh, do you have any idea like, um, the amount of people or the number of people that should uh, this should cover so um, the of it. probably a hundred is probably a good number last year we had about 70 i think it was upper 70s mm -hmm. so i think probably 100 you know okay. i think that's probably it it might be a little higher i don't know yeah i'll let you know if i find something okay yeah definitely sounds good well thank you very much appreciate that. No problem. Anything else uh, about OpenWT Summit anyone wants to talk about? Do we have another um, planning call, like any time scheduled? Is it on the calendar? We don't have one scheduled. We can we can schedule okay. one. I, I'm just wondering when we're going to start doing call for presentations. It, very soon, I would think, yeah. I mean... I mean, we can just uh, go ahead and send an email rather yeah. than set up a call to do so. So, yeah, either way is fine. Yeah, uh, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Okay, we can do that. Awesome. You just make up a deadline then for when it's due. Yep, definitely. We 
we'll do. We'll we'll talk about that in the list, and we can agree from there. We can have we can certainly have a meeting, open WRT summit meeting, if we want one too. So either way is good with me. Um. All right. Are there any other topics that people want to talk about? Have Have you all seen the um floppy disk drives that that play the Star Wars theme? It's totally off topic, but I just chatted group <laughs> chatted it. <laughs> I saw it yesterday. I was pretty amazed. I have not seen that. No. That's, that's Kathy, that's the one with the 64 tones, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> yeah, kind of cool. Yep, it's great. Well, that's good. Is there anything related to OpenWRT as well? Although I do like <laughs> floppy disks. Well, maybe the board farm could make noises and we could see what comes out. Good point. Just kidding. We could try that, yeah. All right. Well, um... If there's nothing else, then we can uh, we can uh, call it a call and uh, and uh, talk again next week. Thank you everyone right. for joining. Thanks awesome. so much. Yep. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye.